What you see here is the original subframe of this car when it was about 12 years old. This extent of damage should not be considered repairable. I replaced it with a good one from a salvage yard. Now, five years later, this video shows the process of cleaning and repairing the newer subframe before it rusts out. I decided to do some basic backyard sandblasting before repainting. The sandblasting revealed rust damage that I was previously unaware of. My goal in sandblasting was not to clean the whole frame down to bare metal, but to clean rust, scale, and grime. It had a couple soft spots on it that I didn't discover until I went to sandblast it. You really couldn't tell they were there until we got down to bare metal. And so the rest of the frame is really solid. There doesn't seem to be any other weak spots. I checked it thoroughly. So, as you can see, the subframe is made from just sheet metal that's stamped and welded together. It's spot welded in different places. There's a spot weld right there. So, what I did is I used my cutoff tool and I went and I cut around the bad parts. As you can see right here, these are the pieces that I cut out. So I cut out the, the rusty parts. This one got me down to the next layer and that doesn't seem to be compromised. I tried to get underneath these edges a little bit, get any flakes of rust out of there real good. Over here I actually used an air chisel and got underneath and pried those up a bit and was able to knock any loose rust out of the inside of there. This one went through the second layer in these two spots, so I cut out everything that was weak or thin, and so now I'm down to solid, good metal. I'm going to go ahead and hammer down these edges now. Now I'm ready to weld along them. You can see I decided to cut out the other layer altogether and weld in a solid patch of 1 8 inch diamond plate. First I welded the two layers together. Second I ground down my welds. Third I test fit the patch and did additional grinding for a good fit. Finally I welded on the patch and cleaned up the area to inspect the welds. I also welded from the other side to ensure all segments were connected. I'm going to try this Rust-Oleum truck bed liner and it's just basically supposed to be a durable coating to help protect things because the subframe is going to get rocks and sand and stuff kicked up on it. So I shook it up real good and I'm stirring it. It's a really thick textured consistency and I chose a can instead of a spray can because um, I really want to put it on there pretty thick and I want to avoid over spray so I'm just going to use a regular brush and go ahead and apply it. Here's my subframe. I've gone ahead and welded up some patches on it and put a second coating of this rubberized truck bed liner on it. You can see my patch there where I cut out some rust and put it back together. It's nice and solid. I'll bet it's probably stronger than the original. I'm really pleased with the way this is coming out. I think it's going to be really rugged.